Hola amigos, this is Somvir and welcome back to Codepipe. In today's video, we will see a roadmap to learn JavaScript in 30 days. It is just a number, it can take 2-3 days more. If you are amazed by cool websites and want to build one yourself, then this video is for you my friend. Also, if you are trying to get into web development and making websites, I am sure you have heard about JavaScript. There are n number of ways in which we can develop websites nowadays, but I feel that JavaScript is the best and most powerful language to build a website. That is what I feel I might be wrong. So don't forget to explore other methods too. So let's get directly to the point. How to learn JavaScript and how to do it faster. There are many students that want to learn web development or get into technical jobs etc. But they don't learn it because of couple of reasons. One can be they don't see results very soon after they start learning JavaScript or any other language. Number two is if you are a working professional, you don't have much time and usually courses take more than 3 or 4 months, which makes the process time consuming. And in today's world, time is money, especially for working professionals who wants to get into technical jobs. So without wasting any time, let's see how we can be a decent developer in 30 days or less. The point to focus here is decent developer because I am not saying we will be expert in JavaScript, but in 30 days we will be decent enough to code any simple websites. So first of all, we need to know what course we need to take. So let me share you the course which I took on Udemy. As you can see, Udemy is a great platform where we can learn new skills every day. And the course which helped me to learn JavaScript is the complete JavaScript course 2021 from zero to expert. This is also one of the best seller. Initially, the course is of 68 hours on demand, but the author provides different pathways using which we can learn JavaScript in the way we want. Let me show you the pathways. So this is the pathway PDF that author gives us. If we check out the pathway, there are different type of pathways like if you want to learn everything, if you want to learn JavaScript faster, if you are just looking for fundamentals, if you are looking for job interviews and etc. But what I am talking about is I want to learn JavaScript fast, which only covers the most important parts. And if we check the page for only important path, on this pathway, it is only 24 hours, which means if we give 2 hours a day to this course, then we can complete the theory part in 12 days or let's say 2 weeks if we take a break of 1 or 2 days. So in 2 weeks, we will be aware of terminologies and how JavaScript works. If we want to give something extra, we can take 1 hour per day to practice what we have learned in the lecture. So that means 2.5 to 3 hours per day for two weeks to learn theory. I understand that this is still a lot of time for a day, but according to me, this is the least you can do to learn JavaScript. Now we have taken 12 to 14 days to learn theory about JavaScript and we know some concepts of JavaScript. Now the next step will be to do some projects on your own. This will help you grasp the concepts of JavaScript more and you can enhance your JavaScript developer skills. Let me tell you 10 easy to hard projects that you can do on your own and obviously you can take help of internet and the course that you have taken. At the end of 10th project, you will be very confident in your skills and you will feel confidence in making websites. The projects that I'm going to tell you will take one day or maximum two days to be completed. So the projects will consume another 12 to 15 days of your time period. The projects that you can make will be calculator, hangman game, tic-tac-toe, to-do list. You can make a quiz. You can make a weather app, you can make a budget planner, you can make a memory game using JavaScript, you can make a very simple image editor and finally you can make a resume builder using JavaScript. So these are the 10 projects that I want you to do that will help you enhance your JavaScript developing skills. I myself is a JavaScript beginner and I have taken the same course and I have done the same projects that I am telling you. So they are tested and tried and I can say that I am fairly good at JavaScript now. You can also see that I have made some videos on the above mentioned projects that I have told you in the same playlist and I will be uploading videos of other projects too. So if you want to catch up with me and the progress I have made on the projects, please hit the subscribe button if you are not subscribed to the channel yet and hit the notification bell so that whenever I upload the project videos, you will be the first one to see it. Okay, now we have taken the course and we have done some projects and it's a month. We are fairly good at JavaScript now. Now what next? The next things I want you to focus on and I recommend you is learning some frameworks that are based on JavaScript 
there are frameworks that use JavaScript for both front-end and back-end. So front-end is something we see on our screen, the landing page, the accounts page, the profile page, etc. And the back-end is how that all is working and how that all is uploaded on the server. One of the best frameworks to learn for front-end will be react.js or simply react that is developed by Facebook and it is widely used for front-end applications. And the backend framework that you might learn will be Node.js, which is also widely used for all the backend purpose. You can also try your hands at TypeScript, which is also a widely used language and that is not so much different from JavaScript. So this is how I learned JavaScript in 30 days. I took the course, did the projects and then I went for the advanced things like React. Just in case, if you also want to learn web development using Python or any of your friends are looking for that, I also have a course on Udemy. In the course, we developed an e-commerce website. We designed it from the scratch. We made the front end. We made the back end in Python Django framework and we finally uploaded it on cPanel. So you can also have a look at that. The link with the discount code will be available in the description. Also in the description, you will find link to some books that you can read to get better at programming. With this, I conclude my video here. And I would like you to hit the like button if you feel I gave some information that was useful. Please share it with your friends who might need it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to not miss out any more videos. We will meet very soon with a new video. Until then, this is Somewhere taking your leave. Adios.